Statement of Changes Announced by the Home Office. Welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss the latest statement of changes announced by the Home Office. The Home Office announced the new statement of changes on the 18th of October 2022. No significant changes have been implemented compared to the previous versions of the statement. However, several announcements have been made for the individual's interest. Let us look at the overview of the announcements made in the statement of changes by the Home Office. The new deadline for applications to the Ukrainian extension scheme has been announced, which would be the 16th of November 2023. Those who have entered and stayed in the UK after the 1st of January 2022 can apply for this scheme and extend their permission to stay for additional 36 months. This scheme will be available only to those who will be granted the same permission between the present date and the 16th of May 2023. Permanent residents of New Zealand and Australia will be qualified under the service supplier route of global business mobility. It will enable them to provide them with all the services covered by the free trade agreement of the UK with these countries. Nationals and permanent residents of Australia will be able to stay in the UK for up to 12 months. The majority English-speaking country list has been upgraded to be included in the British Overseas Territories. Non-visa nationality will be issued to Colombia, Guyana, and Peru citizens. Also, they will not be required to acquire a visit visa while traveling to the UK. The requirements of police registration, according to Section 3 of the Immigration Act 1971, will be discontinued due to duplicity of information. Seasonal Worker Route, or GBM, has been expanded with the addition of roles in the poultry production sector with a duration every year between the 18th of October to the 31st of December. Requirements for the specified salaries will be introduced for these roles in order to qualify for the skilled worker route. Midwifery students, studying courses overseas equivalent to the degree level, will be able to enter the UK as visitors to undertake electives at higher education institutions in the UK, given that this role would be unpaid and will involve no treatment of any patients. Global Talent Route Applicants will now be able to provide support letters from the organizations or any individuals with whom they would have directly worked in order to mention their skills, behavior, and reputation. Individuals as standard visitors or through the permitted paid engagement routes in the UK will now not be able to switch themselves towards the creative worker route, as this won't be compatible with the visitor route. We have reached the end of today's video update. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for more of the latest updates. Thanks for watching.